What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I'm going to mention Kevin Samuels uh, right now, not only because, you know, I know him and we've been in the sphere for a minute, but I believe that he was the first person to prove in real time to the world that unaccountability is real strong amongst uh, certain women. And I believe we, we've experienced it in our life, um, you know, and we've talked about it, but, you know, until his show, we, 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 we really weren't able to put it together in real time. And it was, it's become like um, a circus show almost because it's call after call after call is constitutive that in our community, the level of unaccountability uh, is really, really high. And, and that's, in, in many cases, what's turning a lot of brothers off, right? But it's not only his show that we've seen it. We're seeing it more or less with celebrities. Because again, with celebrities being more involved in social media, with celebrities being involved more on, you know, like Instagram or, or on video sharing sites, we wouldn't be able to see this level of accountability but we're seeing it now and it's not that we're hearing it from third parties or from like a newspaper we're hearing it directly from them like shikari richardson liking posts on twitter dissing jamaicans making excuses for coming up in last place we're seeing a lot of this cognitive dissonance but it's just not her it's also simone biles now simone biles uh, in her field, which is gymnastics, she's way more accomplished than Shakari Richardson would ever be. And to be honest, she has seven medals. Um, probably will go down as, you know, the greatest decorated gymnast of all time. But Simone Biles did something that was very controversial. Now, also Shakari Richardson was under controversy for not even making the limits because of a failed drug test. But Simone... Uh, in one of the events, at least, she decided not to uh, make a go for it. And the reason why she was having a somewhat of a problem with proprioception as she was landing, and that was, um, you know, could have been very dangerous for her. She was saying she was suffering through some mental health issues. Um, I, I don't have any reason to believe that she's lying or anything like that. Uh, but that's the reason why she sat at that event. Now, that was a big let letdown to female gymnastics in America. A lot of Americans were upset at Shakari Richardson. A lot of Americans were upset at Simone Biles because her not competing is what um, a lot of Americans couldn't understand that. And we want to be honest. America is not like um, certain other countries, like the UK or, or Poland. Um, and no disrespect to those countries. But America is just a country that you have to get it done. Like, there's no excuses for failures. America operates on a very high standard of excellence, a high standard on execution. That's what's made the country great. We have a very, very, very high standard for ourselves as American citizens. You can say what you want to say, uh, but you live somewhere else and you'll find out how true it is. America operates at the highest standard. So it, no matter if you can't do anything, you're supposed to find a way to do it. Like Michael Jordan, when he was sick, the, the classic flu game. You know, Kevin Durant. When he broke his, uh, you know, um, he, he damaged his ACL or Achilles tendon um, against the, the, the Warriors and the Raptors about two years ago. He had to do it because no one would accept the fact that you can play and you won't play. You, you, you better die out there. All right. And that's how Americans are. But Simone Biles decided that, you know, she can't take the criticism. OK. And this is what she's saying on her Instagram. For those people who are pointing the fact out that she quit. This is what she's saying. Day music. Can't believe it's already been a month. Definitely not the way I planned the Olympics going, but I wouldn't change anything for the world. I'm proud of myself and the career I've had thus far. This Olympics doesn't erase the past accomplishment. It achieved nor does it define who I am as an athlete. I've pushed through so much through the past couple years. The word quitter is not in my vocabulary. For some of you that Maybe how you define me, but keep talking because I can't hear you over my seven Olympic medals. 
which tied me for the most decorated gymnast ever, as well as the most decorated American gymnast. All right. I want to I want to deal with that because she's right. Her career is going to go down as she's one of the best. But unfortunately, we live in a what have you done for me lately kind of country. We're not living in the past. You're only as good as your last game. Okay? I, I Even as a YouTuber, I can't live on the fact that I had a really good month in August to stop the show. Thank you, you guys. I really did. Thank you for supporting me. I have to keep working and doing everything every day. Apple as a company can't live off the fact that, wow, you had a really good iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro Max or an iPhone 11 or iPhone 10. Nobody cares about that. We're looking at what you're doing now. Microsoft, doesn't matter that you had a good Windows 95 or Windows XP or Windows 10, or now you have you know Windows Cloud and all this other stuff and you're doing really good in gaming and you have Teams meeting. What are you innovating today? Okay? It doesn't matter. What people care about is what you're doing now. And see, that's the fundamental thing that men understand a lot of times. I think that we have sometimes of a hard time that women don't understand. Not all the time, but I think there's a, there's so much of a separation of thought there. Simone Biles and Shikari Richardson want to live in the past because Shikari Richardson was talking about, well, I'm the sixth best time in, in the world's history, the sixth. But the reality is, is that you're doing that because you know that you let people down because you didn't run. Whether it was um, a, a real mental issue, which I believe that it was. But see, when the push came to shove, you have to perform. And I'm not trying to compare men to women right now when I say this, but here's a difference in the thinking, okay? And by no means do we expect women to do what men do, even understand, even if they want equality. A man has to go out there and you, 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 gotta, you gotta fight. You gotta compete. There is no, I can't compete, okay? When you're a successful person and you have shown that you're great at something, just like she has shown, we expect you to perform and win or to perform and try. Regardless of the circumstances, because you've done it so much, okay? When you see, um, you know, some of your your guys back in the day at fought or Tyson. I mean, it's not that. I remember when, when Tyson's last professional fight, he didn't even come out for the fifth round, or something like that, right? And it's something that we don't understand. But for people, we expect great people to 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 put it all on the line. You didn't. Now you want to rag on your fans, talk about how you can't hear people over your seven medals. But what does that have to do with the fact that you didn't compete? Okay. That, that, what does that have to do with anything? You didn't show up. Ultimately, you let the people down. They didn't let you down. You let them down. So why are you upset with them? Now, all of a sudden, you can't hear them. Like, do you see how childish that is? It doesn't make any sense. But this is the this is the world we're dealing with today, where shit that doesn't make sense makes a lot of sense. And, you know, you want to hide behind your past accomplishments, but you didn't show up when you're supposed to. You are not where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be at. Simple as that. Same thing for Charlie Richardson. Unaccountability cannot be accepted in American society. Okay. If you didn't quit, then you come out and you you tell your fans you're sorry. You'll be back next year, but you don't taunt people. It's the wrong attitude to have. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high.